home day fans. Today's a little special. So huge festival happening in this city starting now. Everybody all around the world will have their eyes on TIFF. So please welcome our star-studied cast, Colin and Justin and Brian Gluckstein. Do you like how they do in Hollywood? Exactly. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you, you have back. a late night, boys? We always have a late night, Trish, every <laughs> single night. And we talked of whiskey. Yeah. Well, you know what? TIFF is such an exciting time. Brian, do you ever get involved in any of the uh, Toronto International Film Festival stuff? I do. I go to a lot of the movies. And we designed uh, at the old Four Seasons, the bar. So we were always at the big parties at, oh, the, nice. at the bar at the Four yeah, Seasons. Always at the bar, Brian. Oh. Always at the bar, oh, having, always my, at the bar. <laughs> having my cranberry juice. Of yeah. course. Yes, <laughs> With I'm, a wild one. Voice I'm a wild one. Oh, you're wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real party guy. Now, I was asking the audience this. I was saying, like, come on, just be honest with me. Do you ever do a little star stalking? Do you ever see anyone big when you, when you're, when you are at the bars? I, you know, when I'm at restaurants in the city, you see the stars all over the place. And yeah. they love Toronto because everyone in Toronto is so respectful. Yeah. yeah. So they just sort of fit in with everybody, and it's fantastic there's here. There's a really comfy vibe, Brian, isn't there? there a really is. comfortable vibe in the city. Yeah. And Absolutely. if you find the celebrities are, are free to walk around Toronto for exactly that reason, so you're going to yeah. bump into someone, you know, in the local supermarket. Who knows where you're going to find your celebs this tip? We actually ran into Brad, well, when I say ran into him, we stalked him from across the street in Yorkville. <laughs> but he was literally walking through uh, Yorkville with a couple of his friends. Or Brad who? who? Brad Pitt. Oh, Ooh, that's a big by. deal. Yeah. So we waved across, and he could have waved randomly back, not having a clue what was going on. But yeah, we yeah. had to say that was our moment where we got very up close and personal with Mr. Pitt. Wow, you should have grabbed a net and just put him in it. I should have grabbed something, Tracy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. Anything. For you, Tracy, for yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. Bring that back. But they love, okay, they so love the city. Yeah, they, they do. Toronto. And speaking about being approachable, you've met so many stars. You've been covering uh, TIFF for, what, four years now? Yeah, it's four for years. For City, which, which is, is amazing. Fantastic. And um, looking forward to, I mean, this year, come on, who's who? Jake Gyllenhaal, Rennie Russo, Douglas Booth, I love him. Max Ayers, Justin Long, Haley, Joel Osment, Eddie Redmayne. Who doesn't like Eddie Redmayne? Love him. Andrew Garfield. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Yeah. I can't wait to actually meet him on the carpet. Maybe we'll get him to go a wee pss, 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 pss. You probably will, yeah. and this is why we love you guys. It's like you just, you have no shame. You, well, <laughs> you sing, you dance, you fall. We do you all fall. You fell, red carpet. The, we, you you fell of out of the screen once. Well, right we did that. We also fell in front of Emma Thompson at one point, but she was wearing the most preposterous plastic shoes, and I couldn't keep my eye off them. And when I looked down, I lost my balance, and I literally <laughs> fell down in front yeah. of her. But that's the good thing, Tracy, about the, the whole festival. And you touched on this, Brian. There's a very relaxed vibe in the city, yeah. and I think that's what most people find really appealing. Yes. And the way that we tackle our film stars is we're less deferential and reverential perhaps than some of the other red carpet hosts might be. Um, so rather than talk about the detail of the film, look, we obviously touch on that, we'll say, does your mother know you're wearing a skirt that short? Would she actually like that, <laughs> Mrs. Angelina Jolie? But we, I, th I think that really works, and I think we have, we have fun doing it. And I hope that the fun that we try and bring comes out in the celebs as well, so everybody's happy. It does. Now, do you remember your conversation with Hugh Jackman? We've got a picture of that uh, when you met Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Huge star, triple threat. The guy's everywhere. So fabulous. We actually lied to Hugh Jackman. I'm really sorry, Hugh Jackman. We told you a little falsehood. Uh, we told Hugh that it was, it was National Hug a Hugh Day in Canada. <laughs> And he, he, and he said, he oh, really? So, so he was like, well, okay, give us a hug then. So we were like, ah. And everyone's looking at us on the carpet. We we're like, hi, are you? And, um, and he says, so is everyone doing this in Canada? And we said, no, just us. Just us. He was we're so the only nice. ones that celebrate it. He was, uh, if I had to look back and tell you who my favourite was, I'd say Hugh Jackman because he was so unquestionably friendly and so completely lovely. And we know lots of people that know him really well and they all tell us that he's one of the nicest. He's a quality most, guy. He's yes. a real quality, quality guy. guy. I hear that all the time a about him. Now, guy. how about Isabella Rossellini? You just think class when you think of her. Uh, we've got a picture of you interviewing her on the red carpet. You guys are having a chuckle there. Nice woman. Oh, gorgeous. And we said to her, okay, you know what? Clearly the makeup campaign is working. You mm -hmm. look fabulous. 
Isabella Rossellini, she leant forward, squeezed her hands, and she said, no, darling, I sold my soul to the devil. Ah! She looks great. I mean, she's got to be a good, I don't know, 65 or thereabouts. If she's she looks amazing. She's beautiful skin. She's great. Well, she looks right, incredible. Uh, you know, she's photographed with the same uh, camera lens that Cher uses when she's being photographed from the moon. And that really softens, <laughs> you know? It really softens her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Justin's passport photograph. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need a lot of goes. But you look at that smile. Like, yeah. as long as you have a great smile on your face, you look fantastic. You're right. That's I agree with that. Absolutely. I don't care what's going on with the wrinkles. Your like smile when... brightens you up from the inside out. It's amazing. But speaking of aging well, Jennifer Aniston, we also have a picture of you with her. <laughs> she is, uh, she's ageless almost. And I don't know how she looks in real life. She's I've also never humorless, met her, but... Tracy. She was the moodiest person I've ever met in my I've life. I've heard that about her. Moody, moody, moody. Sorry, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> Hollywood Hill <laughs> star, but moody. Dish it. Look I love it. I want to hear the truth. Without... Not the Friends girl. <laughs> yeah, the Friends girl. She's not that friendly. No, you're absolutely <laughs> right? right, Tracy. I have heard that. Well, there's so much uh, to look forward to at this year's TIFF, but now let's look back to some previous Colin and Justin red carpet moments. <laughs> Take a look. Uh, so this movie, you know, it was made in Toronto. It's being uh, showcased here in Toronto, you know, so obviously you've got a bit of a bond with our fair city. Uh, definitely, in, in more ways than one, the city itself is full of, you know, the love of the arts is, is everywhere. Where you know, are you guys from? We come from a place called Scotland. You may be familiar Scotland. with it. Scotland! Oh yeah! Have you I'm, been there? I've never been to Scotland, but I've worked with a Scot. Can you give us your best Scottish, Scottish accent? accent? I, I think I just gave it to you. Well, it's great. Great. Oh, it's great. There! Are you Sir Tim of Robbins, how are you? I feel like I'm tripping. <laughs> you mean, what, what are, you, are you two people or one? Uh, no, we probably are just one. Okay. And we had wow. this kind of bizarre split thing going on. I don't know if you remember the last that we met Jake at Prisoners, I, I, I said I had real beard envy. I've, I've got beard yes. envy tonight as well. You've got better beard than I got. I've been out bearded by him. How are you, darling? Good, how are you? We are super fabulous because we're in your presence. You look fantastic. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. What's your secret to eternal youth? <laughs> well, whatever I is, sold I my soul to the devil. Oh, did you? Yes. Well, I'm going to sell mine as well if these are the results we get. Listen, can I just ask you for a split second to do us a favour? Could you look that way and let Justin sing for you and tell us if you would turn round for him? You light the sky up above me, whoa. I think going to run to. Yeah, it's, go it's going very, very well at the moment. Good. Um, I, 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 I'm getting past your accent for a second. It's my favourite sound in I all the world. I come from a place called Scotland. Okay, Have I made you sing I can somewhere tell special? That. Twins? Yeah, twins. twins. Yeah. I'll take it, man. Can I be the meat in this particular sandwich? Yeah, I feel like Queen Victoria. You know, oh, Teddy! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, my word. I had nothing to do with that. Oh, she did it. Oh. She kicked me. <laughs> she did. I was booted by Emma Thompson in the knee and I had to retaliate. Uh, the best thing about that is that you did like the Beyonce pop up right oh, after. So like you were down and you were up Always within a professional, seconds. Tracy. When I go down, I'm back up in a second. <laughs> Not a moment is missed. Now, if you watch that tape in slow motion as well, you'll see that Colin is just looking. Uh, I'm laughing. Not yeah. trying uh, to help. No. no. He had a good little chuckle. No, yeah, no, it's, no. it's a Scottish thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're on your your own. Own. it was hilarious. You're on your own. Good luck. Other networks tried to help me before my compadre here <laughs> tried to help me. Yeah, head thrown back, oh. having a great time. So uh, I'm going to be wading into the fun uh, this year at TIFF. So I'm going to be hanging out on some red carpets. Very excited to be covering The Judge, which is the opening night uh, film. And that's with Robert Downey Jr., Robert Duvall. Amazing performances. I've seen the screener. Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. As well, Jennifer Garner is going to be here. Adam Sandler, they're both in a, a movie called Men, Women and Children, which I think is very interesting because it's all about the digital age and how it is changing the way we relate with each other. We've been we're, talking a lot about that in the makeup room, haven't we? Yes, we were talking about that today, about kids. You know, we used to talk on the phone and lie on the floor for hours. It was connected to the wall. That's right. <laughs> and now it's just about texting. I mean, no one yeah. even... You know, and the and your 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 tone is different when you text. I think that's a shame. Speak. You're right, Brian. Everything changes, and all those lovely traditional things that I enjoyed as a kid have now gone. Now you've got to do your hair, check your lipstick before you make a phone call because somebody's <laughs> looking at you. It's yeah. very Isn't true. Isn't that exactly. ladies and it, gentlemen? It changes communication, <laughs> and you know this whole idea of the art of conversation, which is what we love to do. 
kind of going out the window. So it's 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 a skill that has to be honed. So I, mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with that movie. Uh, top five with Chris Rock, Rosario Dawson, once again Adam Sandler as well. The Equalizer with Denzel Washington. I I saw the screener. <laughs> Very interesting film. And mm -hmm. John Stewart has a film as well uh, at TIFF this year called Rosewater. So he's a smart dude. I cannot wait to talk to him on the uh, some great movies on the right carpet. For me, um, Maps to the Stars, the David Cronenberg film, yes. Julianne Moore, Robert Pattinson. He plays a driver, you know, who kind of falls slightly for this kind of Hollywood starlet. It's about the destruction of Hollywood. You know, oh, it's a cool. star on the edge. Julianne Moore looks amazing in this. Yeah, she's, uh, I, I, she's a favorite of mine. And I hear she's a very nice woman in real life, Julianne Moore. And I just love that David Cronenberg, we could claim him as our own. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an amazing man. Yeah.